Okay, so we back on the Community Anchor Institute. Right click on it, um, go to Symbology, and then we change the title here. Available public Wi-Fi, and we're going to um, go back to layout and select this. We're going to do Legend. and draw on here perfect and we do have a lot of layer um the legend we do not need counties perfect All right and it's too big and i'm going to resize it and now it's too small okay um Available public Wi-Fi. I don't need libraries. All right. Um, but this one I'm going to fix it first. Fix it. Fix it. All right. Perfect. Going to save it first. Save. Okay, for this one, we're going to right click on it and go to property and then patch label word spacing. It's fine with size patch, maybe just do two and then one. No, two is too big. Um, 1.5. Okay, and then height. This is not 15, 1.5. All right, and this will be one then. It's not a huge change, but I'm gonna change it. Unknown, go to legend, back, not border. I don't want border, back, oh, background, Um, property. And outline width zero, and outline color. Um, just do the same thing. Yes, and let's do thirty percent. Click OK. Click apply. Perfect. All right. Okay, and then. Right click on it, go to property. I don't need the group layer name, layer name. Nope. All right, so now, and we have to change patch. Let's do 16 and then 10. Perfect. All right, we have to change the font text symbol, appearance, and aerial, and we can do bold, bold, and click apply, size, let's reduce the size to 10, click apply, okay. And then what about the legend fonts? Position, rotation, it's fine. Halo, I don't need shadow. Call out, and we do not have any call out. Paragraph format, okay. Um, how do I do the little font? Those not bold. Phone size, regular. Click apply. Um, title. Where is underline? I don't want underline. I don't want underline. Outline width. I don't. Size. Size. Let's change it into nine. Click apply. I don't want catalog. Close. All right, headings. 
Oh, I do want headings. How do I change the heading symbol? Appearance. This is nine. Okay, let's do this. Convert to graphics, and then ungroup them. Perfect. And then this one. Double click on it. Mm -hmm. I cannot double click on it. How do I select it and click Control B? It's not working. Text symbol, appearance. Let's do ten, and then bold, bold. Click apply. Perfect. All right, and then he shift. It's shift. Select, select, select. Right click on it and group them together. And now I'm gonna go background. Perfect. And let's apply the background again. All right. So thirty percent. Click OK. And zero. Click apply. Apply. Perfect. There. Now it looks a lot better. Yeah, we did it. Okay. And now our two legend is added. So next we go into insert a scale bar. So a scale bar is a dynamic element that provides an indication of the size of features and distances on the map. We will add a scale bar for each map frame. So with the max, um, this one is the max thing. We're going to select on it. Um, and go to insert tab, insert tab and scale bar, and then in the map surrounding group, we click the scale bar, down arrow, and we're going to select line three from the gallery, line three from the gallery. Under Imperia, Imperia is right here, metric Imperia. And a scale bar based on the scale line three style is placed on the map. It's right here. And then I'm going to resize it until it's a lot smaller. Perfect. That's what I want. And then I'm going to place it here. All right. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then. We're going to modify the scale bar to suit the map frame. With the scale bar, select to go to the format tab. We're going to select on it and then go to format. And we will in the text symbol group change text symbol, text symbol map frame element. Um, this is the scale bar. Go to property. Okay, scale bar, text symbol appearance. And we will change ten to eight. Click apply. Perfect. It's smaller. And on the design bar in the、um, division group, we're going to change division to one. Scale bar、uh, on the design tab. Design tab. All right. Design is right here. And then we're going to change division. Into one. In the units group, we're going to change the label.、Uh, units, units. In the units group, we're going to change the label to mile, m i. Units, my. Okay, not ours. Just m i. Oopsies. Text, scale bar. Oh my god, I messed it up. Label to change the label. Oh, ah,、uh, still miles. Change the label into mile. Okay, M I. No, it's small. It's small case. Small case. Small case. Select the map scale, 
and then design mi mi okay and subdivision i didn't mention subdivision okay similar to a legend we're going to add y background background and go here and color property 30 percent click ok click apply outline width zero click apply um and then we do have to change um again resize oh i have to resize it 30 20 25 one more 20 perfect okay um and move a little bit 20 miles okay so similar to the legend we created a wide um, background with 30 um, percent transparency we resized the scale bar so that it displayed to 20 miles uh, position it near the lower left corner of the max advertised broadband speed map frame in the contacts pen we're going to right click the existing scale bar element um, and then in the contents right click the existing and then right click layout and click paste so um do i have to select um then right click layout and click paste click the existing bar element and then right click layout a duplicate oh i would say i have to right click on copy and then paste layout and paste then we have another scale bar right scale bar one scale bar two there it's right here okay and then i'm going to jack the one out oopsies okay this one is putting here okay a duplicate of the scale bar is added to the page it sits on top of the existing scale bar modified to match the map scale of the other map frame we go into the duplicate scale bar to the other map frame and position near the lower left corner on the design tab in the map frame group select community anchor institute map frame from the drop down list and scale bar changes to match uh, the scale bar frame so when i move it here uh, on the design right here and then resize i have to find frequency position um yeah map frame i'm going to do is not map frame one map frame there so it will match here and we will resize a little bit to make it four yeah perfect um and i'm going to move a little down here all right so um that's it very interesting we move the duplicate scale bar to the other map frame and position it near the lower left corner so on the design tab in the map frame group so we selected the community anchor institute map frame from the drop down list and the scale bar changes to match the frame the map scale of this map frame and we have to resize this to uh, display to the uh, it for four miles and then we're going to insert a north arrow um i i need to see if i can delete those uh, you see isri here and garmin usgs and everything here um i don't know um how to delete this yet so i might have to um no cancel um those words it's added there so it's a little weird um and you can see the label is on top of those you cannot change it it's a little annoying um 